Okay, people, we are back. VGC, Hail Team, Sit Titan, you know it, the Poison Duo, Slow King, and Overquill. I have Duraladon sneakily on this team, but I don't really use Duraladon very much. And I have Avalug. The first success with the Hail Team, Ice Body Leftovers. There's an element of, you know, just raise your defenses through the roof and click body press that I do have an appreciation for. In fact, looking at this team, I have an, a feeling you're gonna choose Tyranitar, I'm thinking of my opponent's perspective, to try and use your sand to take out my ice. You're probably looking at the slow bro and expecting the ice from that. Maybe you're a little confused. Anyway, why am I projecting? Let's just get started, right? <laughs> Stinky MB versus There are no vowels in that. I speak English almost exclusively, so I, I can't read that. I can't. It's just, it'll just be a bunch of noises. So Tyranitar comes out as expected. Sand's probably gonna get whipped up. Okay, just intimidating everything. Everybody's scared. How do intimidators get intimidated? That should be there. Should be an immunity there. This thought just occurred to me, but it doesn't. Uh, it kind of breaks the fantasy of the game. I've been doing a little bit of reading about game design, and one of the things you want to do is, you know, maintain the fantasy so that people don't start asking questions about the rules because the rules are trying to satisfy one thing and the story is trying to satisfy another. Intimidators getting intimidated is kind of, you know... Once you see it, you can't unsee it. But it ultimately means nothing. Avalug is out. I mentioned him at the beginning, her at the beginning. Uh, it's going to set up the Aurora Veil, and I'm going to get Leftovers boost, I'm going to get the uh, Ice Body boost, and Avalog was built to not die. I click Body Press here, I don't care what you are. Okay, you click Zap Cannon. But what's Zap Cannon's accuracy? Hold on a minute. Why are we just hitting Zap Cannons? Is that okay? Is Am I, am I losing my mind here? Like, I know I play this game, but getting hit with Zap Cannon? Are you kidding me? Okay. Look. I'm calm. I'm calm. We won. That's just, like, Zap Cannon, bro. Anyway. Anyway. Overcool's gonna pick up the kill on the on the Espeon. Avalug is gonna knock out the Zap Cannon. I mean, the Ampharos. Avalog was built not to go down, and Avalog didn't go down to a Zap Cannon. Trick Room, honestly, I don't know why my opponent set it up. Looking back now, it really benefited Avalog more than anything else, especially when you gave it the Paralysis. We take those. Thank you for setting up the Trick Room for me, opponent. And with that being said, GG's to said opponent. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.